despite the metal name, the Bone Wars were actually a very embarrassing stain on science as a whole, perpetrated mainly by a man that we have already met several times, Othniel Charles Marsh. Marsh was the OG paleontologist. He had partnered with a naturalist professor named Joseph Leedy and his student, Edward Drinker Cope. The three took over operations in Haddonfield after William Folk dug his hadrosaur out of the stream bed. Marsh and Cope continued to work together for a time after Haddonfield, but a rivalry was growing. The proverbial pimple popped when Cope described a plesiosaur called Elasmosaurus, but placed the skull at the end of the animal's very short tail instead of its very long neck. Marsh published a paper that humiliated Cope, and from there, both became obsessed with who could collect and describe the most new dinosaurs. And they got a lot wrong.